Hello my little storm clouds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to do this giant chicken coop functional house along with the giant chickens and chicks and roosters because why not. Before we start make sure you have bb.move objects turned on. If you already know how to do this go ahead and skip to the timestamp that I put on screen. If you don't stick around and I'll quickly explain it. So first things first if you're on a PC press ctrl shift and c and this cheat bar will pop up in the top left hand corner. If you are on a console go ahead and press all four shoulder buttons down together at the same time. If you don't know what these shoulder buttons are it is the back four buttons on the controller. Then you want to type bb.moveobjects on all one word other than the on so you just need a space between move objects and on. I will put the cheat on screen so you can see how it is supposed to be typed out. Once you're done press enter and then get rid of your cheat bar by pressing the exact same buttons you did to open it so Control shift and c or all four shoulder buttons now let's jump into the tutorial so i'm going to use the room tool and draw a i think it was an eight by six i'm doing this off memory from doing my short so i'm going to one two three four five six seven eight so now you want to page up click on the room and copy it and paste it on top and delete the room underneath so now we have a floating room on top of this we're going to draw another room just slightly overlapping like this it does not exactly have to be right right now because we can change things later on that is not a worry while i'm here i'm going to go ahead and delete all of the walls so i just use the sledgehammer tool for this I click on one wall and drag and it should delete most of them if not all of them if you get it quite right it will only delete the walls as well not any of the floors. Another thing you can do if you don't want them is you can remove the ceilings and I'm going to do it there and this one needs to be removed because that's where the balcony is going to be. Now you need to grab your chicken coop which is from Cottage Living and we're going to size this up four times underneath this. So one, two, three, four and I'm moving it slightly to the side because I need to be able to see the floor. Click on the floor and then we're going to drag this up once I think. Yeah, just once is fine. And now you can place this covering up that floor. So it's a bit of trial and error. Make sure you're placing it underneath the flooring. And like I said, the balcony I knew was not gonna be right. This may move the chicken coop, it normally does, but you can just adjust again afterwards. So I'm moving it once that way and once that way, and then you can put your chicken coop back. I know that's quite annoying, but I'm gonna paint the floors while I'm here. I'm gonna do this one as dirt, just cause it's supposed to be like here. I mean, you could do like sand, maybe that sort of works. I'm gonna go with sand a little bit different from my last one and then up here I'm just going to do it a wood turn because that's what was underneath and just paint that it's mainly so your sims don't complain about anything because I will complain if something is not painted now grab some stairs any stairs will do I try to get some that sort of match the color of this so some wooden ones that are maybe like a light brown color and you might have to move this to make sure you're clicking it on the right place but looks like I've got it in the right place going up there. I'm sort of trying to follow where this is and I'm going to copy those stairs and do the same thing inside and then copy our stairs and we're going to put these on the inside. You can sort of see through the floor there. I'm going to place them just there like that. I think I'm happy with it. just move the stairs a little bit because I wanted them further forward because I wanted to make sure they look like they're coming through this door when they come up and you can see the stairs just on the other side of there. So your sim should just be able to get in here just fine. I will just do a quick test by getting her to go here and you see she will come through and go there and she should be able to get up here as well. She can. So now it's just decorating. It is as simple as that. This is a pretty easy one compared to some of the other ones I've done. I'm going to show you how I personally would decorate it just because there is limited space in here. I'm going to place a little kitchen in here in this corner. This would also stop your sim walking through this way and it'll look like they're coming through this area or here which sort of makes a little bit of sense in a way. I want a fridge. I'm just doing all cottage living in here just because I feel like it looks nice and add a sink so we have a fully functioning kitchen in there oh we do need a bin i always forget a bin i'm just gonna place it here why not and then i'm gonna do the living area in this same area just on the other side and again i'm just gonna go with cottage living i want it to suit the vibe and i'm just gonna put it between those walls there and again it'll stop the sim being able to walk through this bit of the wall and they should it should make it look like it's walking through here let's add a little console underneath where i'm gonna put the tv the tv because there's technically no walls you can just raise it up so i'm sizing this one down because it's too big but i like this tv and then raising it up so it sits on the wall like that 
You could go ahead and add a little dining area. I will do that. I didn't do it in my thought, but I just want to show you that it can be done. I think there should be functional. So something cute like that. Don't forget to add some ceiling lights. And now the only thing is, is the bathroom does have to be hidden somewhere because there's not really anywhere else you can put it. So I'm going to put the bedroom up here. So what I do for the bathroom is I just zoom right in and I'm going to hide the bathroom back here. It goes that way. You could lay this out however you want. If you just do it all the way down the back, it really doesn't matter. And so your sims don't complain like they're embarrassed. You could wall this off back here and it's not going to be seen because it is hidden. And add a door. And don't forget to paint the walls because we don't want the sims complaining and you forget that it's there because it's hidden underneath. So now we have something like this. We've got the bathroom in there, the kitchen and the living area. I'm going to add a bedroom up here. I'm going to change the flooring out to a cottage living one um, just in case you don't have it. And I might place it in there as well. And I'm just going to place a bed in here. And you can place it in the centre just there. Could place a little dressing area here. And you could even fit a desk over this side. I'm just going to place a desk here over at the end and a computer on there and again I'll do it cottage living so it's all base game and cottage living if you want to download this um, it's only the two packs. It has to be cottage living because we've got the chicken coop so that's why I don't mind adding that pack. You could even add a bookshelf to the wall here even though there's not actually a wall there you just pretend there's a wall there like you just place it and it will act as a normal bookshelf and then the last thing to do would just be to test everything fully works so let's go into live mode and i want to show you that she can do everything so if we get her to relax get her to read and you can see she's reading there get her to freshen up and she's doing that and then let's her let's get her to play a game and she will sit and play a game and then if we go down here, we can get her to cook something and hopefully she will come sit here. Why do they always cook over the sink for me? This is the thing that always happens. Like she's got a free counter, but she's going to cook there. There we go. And she'll sit and eat that just there. And then we can get her to sit here and watch, watch a movie just like that. And then to go to the bathroom, you can like zoom right in and go in here if you put the walls down or if you really didn't want to have to like zoom all the way in if you just click on these here if I clicked bladder she should go to the closest toilet oh you can see she's going in to the bathroom yeah and everything in here is fully usable back here as well I think the really super cool thing about this build is you can still get your sim to purchase chickens. So let's purchase some chickens. Let's get a black hen, let's get a brown hen. So I'm going to let the chickens come out of the pen, out of the coop, sorry. Look at them all go. <laughs> right, now they are out. If we go into build mode, we can grab them. And we can size these up as big as we want. They do have this like weird light in glitch, but you know, it's all in a bit of fun. Maybe make him smaller. Just, just I've got different sizes. <laughs> when you go back into live mode, they will walk around as normal, just giant. It's a bit like slow motion-y, but and it's, it's quite funny. And you can still feed them as normal and they still lay eggs as normal. Just everything will happen underneath here. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.